Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with female MMA pioneer Aaron Tohill. <laughs> Aaron, uh, you, you, there's a lot of talk about you recently in Strike Force and being the number one contender of Cyborg Santos. What's your status with the organization currently? Uh, currently, my status is I am under contract with them. I have a seven fight deal, and I'm just waiting to get the call. I'm ready. Uh, what do you feel is keeping that from happening at the moment? Um, I don't want to speculate. I just, I think. I'm not the only fighter in this position. I know there's a couple other male and female fighters that are just kind of waiting in the wings. We're, we're ready. I don't know if it's showtime or if it's strike force. I, I, I couldn't really say, but I just want to know when I'm fighting. So Scott, come on, let me fight. And do you want the title fight right away or do you want a fight to get warmed up and be back because you have had a long layoff? Yeah, I've had over a year at this point, and honestly, I, w I would like to have a warm-up fight because, like I said, I want to be at my best. I want to give their fans the best show. I want to give my opponent the best fight possible. And anybody who cares about women's MMA, I want to show them that we can fight, that we can bring, you know, technicality to the game and just be good fighters, whether we're women or not. And I think if I get a fight before that... Um, it's going to let me, you know, get any ring rust off that I have or I just I want to be 100 percent for that fight. It doesn't matter if it's Cyborg or Gina or whomever else who's holding the title. I, it has nothing to do with Cyborg. I'm hardly scared of you. So get that out of your mind. It's just I want to look good. I want to be ready. Is it also about getting your name out there because you haven't had a fight in Strike Force? Sure. I think so. I think before Cyborg came along, it was the Gina Carano show and that's what it was and then she was winning and looking great and then nobody knew who cyborg was it's the same thing i mean you have to be a hardcore fan and really know this game to know who i am and some of the other fighters so if people get to know me the casual fan which is probably you know 75 percent of who's out there and i think that they can get to know me and and like my character and and see that i can be another good competitor and i can get that title and and but people need to be aware of who's out there, and I think marketing and publicizing me is a, is a good step. So, How did you feel about Cyborg Santos' last performance against Jan Finney, and, and did you feel that Jan Finney was a worthy contender? Um, uh, I thought it was okay. You know, in terms of being a fair fight, of course not. It was like a one-sided beatdown. It was like watching some kid get beat up in a playground. I wasn't happy about the fight, but... Who else is out there? I mean, I wish that more women would start competing and, and showing that we can be in these divisions. But if that's what's out there for women's MMA, then I'm sorry. It's kind of a sad state of affairs. I just, uh, I wasn't happy with the fight, but she won and I'm glad. So, and hopefully I win my fight and we can meet. Why do you think that you're a good matchup for Cyborg Santos? Well, I think technically I'm a, I'm a, a really hard matchup for her. I think, you know, she brings that aggressiveness and kind of rawness to the game, and, and that's great. I do, too. I have strength. I have anything that people say that she has, I have it as well. I think I have better striking than her. I think that I have more experience than her, and I think I'm mentally stronger as an athlete. I think that I'm just going to give her a great fight. I'm going in there to win, and that's what I want to do. So I can give her a really good fight. And do you feel that this is going to be your time to shine, that this is what you've waited for in your whole career because you have been in the game so long? Yeah, I do. I've been, you know, fighting 11 years. I have respect for her, for Gina, any of the girls who step in the ring. So regardless of how candid I am with my answers, it doesn't mean that I'm, you know, don't respect her or what she's done or any of the women out there. Um, I just want us to, you know, be on the same page and just put on good shows and I, I paid my dues okay I've been there I've had almost 30 pro fights I fought the best and MMA and boxing has to offer me over the last 11 years and I mean why not I just I don't there's nobody else out there so how do you feel about her camps uh, you know questioning that you don't want to take the fight I, it's laughable I mean I'm not losing sleep over it um, I could really care less. And like I said, I mean, I haven't really heard anything from her mouth particularly, um, and I would hope she'd keep it that way. If her camp wants to talk on her behalf, that's fine. Um, but it's even with me, it's like our talking is going to be done in the ring. So 
just wait and you'll get your chance because trust me, I'm going to be in there and, and I'll be ready to fight you. Any last words for Cyborg and also for your fans? Well, to my fans, you know, thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm doing my best. It's not by decision that I'm not my decision that I'm not fighting, um, hopefully in the next couple months. And as far as Chris, you know, congratulations on retaining your title again. And I look forward to meeting you in the ring. Aaron Toho.